Uh, good evening and welcome to this uh, short tutorial on calculating the moment of inertia uh, of a, a composite object. Uh, this composite object here is uh, consisting of um, a, a ring and uh, four uh, slender rods or four slender spokes um, making what is called the wheel or wagon wheel. Um, the, the mass of the ring is uh, 10 kilograms while, while the mass of the of the slender rods is uh, two kilograms. Uh, it is required here to find the moment of inertia of the wheel around a around um, um, an imaginary axis extending out of the paper uh, going through uh, point A. So of course here we are going to use the parallel axis theorem. Uh, which says that the, in, in, in its general term, uh, I is equal to I naught plus uh, M D squared. So uh, the moment of inertia here is the moment of uh, is the moment of inertia of an object around its centroid. Uh, while the the, the M here is, is stands for the mass, and the D here is representing the the distance between the parallel uh, axes. So for the so here we can uh, deal with the wheel uh, subdividing it into two uh, into two uh, two entities. Uh, we have here for the wheel it is uh, i uh, wheel is equal to the i of the ring plus the i of the spokes. So for the ring uh, we know that uh, its moment of inertia. Uh, if we uh, around point A, of course, is equal to the moment of inertia around its centroid plus the ma its mass uh, times the, the the square of its dis the distance between its centroid and uh, point D point A. Uh, from uh, from our information from the from the information available for the moment of inertia of a ring around its centroid, uh, uh, this, this term is equal to mr squared. And this is a mass, of course, and the distance between uh, this point and this point is the, is the radius itself. So we have here r squared. So, of course, we will have uh, 2 mr squared and uh, substituting uh, the values that we already knew, 2 times uh, 10 times uh, this is the mass of the wheel itself and the radius is uh, 0.5 squared and this should give us 5 kilograms meters squared so this is the moment of inertia of the of the ring only around uh, around uh, uh, an axis passing through uh, point a now for the spokes uh, we can first of all we we should uh, when we use this uh, 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 relation, we should consider that whatever moment of inertia, uh, whatever, whatever moments of inertia that we would calculate for the spokes, they must be around uh, a specific centroid that we should select for the system. So, for convenience, we should we, we can consider uh, these two spokes as one single spoke, as one single rod, and these two spokes as one single rod. Uh, that which that should uh, that would e uh, ease uh, the calculations. So for the spoke, we would so so we would consider that we have only two spokes or two rods. Uh, each one of them is just uh, one meter uh, long. Uh, for the spokes, we can say i spokes. Uh, we have uh, two, so everything will be multiple would be multiplied by two. Uh, we're gonna use the the same relation again, and then we just go going to substitute the numbers. So for the I note here, we have um, two, as we said before, we have two rods. Uh, this is the first one, and this is the second one. And uh, the moment of inertia of one rod around its centroid is 112 ml squared. So this is the moment of inertia of one rod around its centroid. Uh, plus m of course but we have at this time we don't have only one m we have two m's we have two masses here so this should be multiplied by two 
right? And the distance for each one of them, for each, uh, for, for, for a distance between the centroid, for each one of them is uh, R. So for this rod, for example, the distance between its centroid and the point A is uh, R, of course. And for this rod, the distance between its centroid and A is also R. So that's why we have two values here, uh, times R uh, squared. Uh, um, so uh, we can write this down and say 2, 1 over 12 uh, for the length. So the mass now is you can you can notice and see that we have two and the mass just two rods and the mass of each one is four kilograms because now because each spoke is two kilograms so two times two is four um, the length is one is one meters a uh, plus two which is this one plus four kilograms because it's now two spokes making one rod one long rod and the distance for each one of them as i explained here is um half squared uh, this should give us uh this value is 2.67 kilograms meter squared so that's what we have this is the uh, the moment of inertia for the force box and this is the moment of inertia of course for the ring so we just simply for the entire wheel for the entire wheel it's moment of inertia around uh, axis passing through point a is just the sim uh, simply is the summation so i total uh, here is equal to 5 plus 2.60 67 uh, kilograms um, kilograms meter squared so this should give us uh, 7.67 kilograms uh, meters squared that's it. Uh, thank you for watching.